Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. And we will be dealing with the clip. The Weissco piston clips. So, before I go on with this, I actually cut a piece of piston out. And this is actually the actual piston right here to demonstrate what I'm going to do. And this is actually a standard wrist pin. So, to see what I'm going on about here, you, you need to look at this clip here. And this is what I'm going on about. Every one of these pistons, Zenoa, uh, Weissco, uh, they all make some kind of application to get to the rank. You can see the two cuts on the sides on the Zenoa piston. And uh, that's how we get it. They even have a bevel. To help you get it in there uh, and then this is another type piston where it's got a little cutout to get the uh, rings out all these pistons these high performance pistons have some type of uh, cutout on it all of them and uh, even uh, Weissco has a cutout to get them in and out so uh, that's essentially what I'm gonna be doing with our poor little uh, china doll here that has no cutout whatsoever. They give you no way of getting anything out except for the particular clips you see there. So we're going to change that or I'm going to change that and uh, the pistons are cheap. There's three for $13. And like I said, this was a, this was hammered out and uh, then I tempered it to give it that hook and this was to help me get the snap rings just like this out of the Genoa motors uh, very easily and, and put them in very easily like I said I'm using Lucas assembly lube which I do like it I took the screwdriver back in the day and I put shrink tube all down and this was my only this is the only thing I use this for I used a, a good Stanley I would reach through the piston and the reason I put uh, shrink tube on it so I didn't scratch anything when I reached over there so what you do is you push that in there like that. Take your screwdriver. Kind of flatten it out. And I hope you all are getting this. And then you'll push the wrist pin in. From the other side. Like I said, I hope y'all are getting this. You kind of flatten it out. And the, sh the shrink tube is there to prevent you from scratching anything. And then I hope you can see that in there. And you take your wrist pin from the other side and push it in and that did not go in you might have to adjust it and stuff like that but it's in there now Now that's how you get it in on one side. Okay. And that's in there. And you can take the wrist pin and push it this way too. 
make sure it's seated. Getting them in and out is the issue. What I've done with this one, I've cut a little relief, just like the other pistons that you saw in that video. And what you'll do is, you'll move this around it's hard for me to tell looking at it there we go the little relief I got cut right here there you go you move it to where the ends are not on the relief so let's say, suppose you got this in here and you have this cut out. Now this is, let me go ahead and say this right now. This is what I am going to do. I don't suggest you doing this, but this is what I'm going to do. And Now I got it moved into position where I got the cutout at and the ends are here and here. And we're gonna we're gonna test this for strength too while we're at it. So let's say suppose you got your wrist pin in there. And we're gonna move this around. There we go, and we got this little relief right here. We'll grab it, slide that around it. And that's how we get it out. Did it come out undamaged? No. But it came out fairly easily. So let's say, suppose now that you've got that one in there on the offset side that doesn't have the relief cut in it, you popped it in like I just showed you, the, uh, we have to put it in on this side. And this tool will do the same thing. Now this is a little bit distorted here, but it will work just the same. snapped in that fast and then we will position it to where it's not going up against anything so it popped right in there and this little tool right here helps you to push it in now we're going to test the durability of this in a very unconventional fashion. Let's do that right now. Okay? Okay. We're going to put this right here on our alien anvil. We're going to tap it. We know it's going to do that. Yeah, it took that pretty well, huh? Still right there. You're never going to have that kind of hammering on your motor. If you do, then this is not going to be your issue. Okay, it broke. And it came out. Ooh.
Yeah, and it's stuck in there. So, that's a little piece of it right there. It actually broke. And you got to remember that piece has been in and out, in and out, in and out several hundred times. And that's what happened. It broke. So, and this is stuck in there so hard that. So, I feel that these are actually a good idea. So there's how you get them in. That's how you get them out. And we'll get that motor cleaned up. Yes, indeed. I told you he was going to need me again, Roger Ramjet.